TikTok, you have your follow page. So you scroll through, you follow their content. Then you have for you page. That's stuff that TikTok thinks through some sort of algorithm they have that you'll like. Do you like your, your for you page? Everyone likes their for you page because it's literally for them. I don't know if my phone is listening to me. Oh, it's for sure listening to you. Okay, I guess it is. If it's listening to me, then like I should be in a lot of trouble right now. But anyways, yeah, I like my my for you page. It's basically like, oh, if you see, like, at first, like when you first log on, they throw you random stuff, and if you like it, they're like, okay, she likes that. Let me put some more in there. Oh, if, if you follow this account of dogs, oh, let's put some more dog stuff in there. And eventually, okay. it's tailored to what you like. Okay. Anyways, so yeah, so it all began when I had a TikTok. I love TikTok. I post random TikToks. I don't expect them to blow up because they're like dumb. And then I went to, wait, hold on, let me drink this. Cause this is a long story, but it's a good one. So I went to Mexico with my friends and they're all like straight Mexican, like straight out of Mexico, all speak Spanish. I don't, I'm like the only white person there. We go to Mexico and I follow Tyga on Instagram. So I was just like, we were about to go to, to Mexico the next day and I saw on Tyga's story that he was in Tulum, which was where I was gonna go to in Mexico. And Tulum is like this small city, no one really parties there. I mean, it's not a big party place like Cancun. So like, um, I saw that he was there. So he I was just, doing some private shit. Yeah, he was on like his <laughs> private jet. Like the, the previous snap was like him on his private jet. Okay. Anyway, so I was like, okay. So I mess, I, so I, I DM'd Tyga. And I was like, hey, Tyga, like me and my girls are pulling up to Tulum tomorrow. Like we would love to party with you. Like not expecting a response. But then, <laughs> and then I sent a picture of myself and then he liked the message. Are you serious? He liked the message. <clears throat> I was like driving the car and I was literally listen to, listening to Tyga. And he liked my message. And so I was like flipping out. So then whatever, next day we get there. I message him again. Hey Tyga, we're here. Like what's the plots? Like what are we getting into tonight? And he's like, where are you at? And I was like, oh, I'm here. And he's like, I don't remember exactly what it went down, but he was like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, I'm just with a group of eight. Like we're just smoking and drinking, just trying to see what's up. And he's like, okay, like you guys can come through later. So I was flipping out. I was literally like, and we were at this nice Airbnb, like beautiful, like pool in the front yard. We all had our own air conditioned rooms. It was like 110 degrees. Right. So, but the thing was, I was ninth wheeling. So like, there was a couple, a couple, a couple, a couple, and me. So I'm like running around to all the doors, like screaming, like, guys, let's go. Like, but we need biddies. Like, we can't pull up with dudes. Like, yeah. Tyga doesn't want guys. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, girls, like, pack your bags. We're going to Tyga's. And then everyone's like, damn, damn. And then all the guys were like, we're so excited. I'm like, no, no, no. Like, stop right there. Like, you're not excited. You're not coming. Yeah. Like, because the thing was, Tiger was an hour away from where we were. He wasn't staying in Tulum, he was just like visiting the day. Okay. He was staying in like the drug lord district, like sus place. So I was like, okay, let's go. And then all the guys were like, we're not letting our girls go there without us because it's like sus and it's Tiger and like, you know, we they don't- were, They were jealous. Oh, absolutely. <clears throat> Sorry, I, my, I feel like my eyelash is literally coming off my eye. Okay, whatever. So, <laughs> so everyone, so all the guys were like, well, let us come, let us come. I'm like, bro, fuck you. Like, let's just go. Like, it's fine. Like, and then, okay, well, I can't go alone, right? Because one, I'll probably get like molested. Two, I don't even know how to get there because there's no Uber. And you can only take a taxi. And I don't speak any Spanish. And it was an hour and away. And like, yeah. I don't know how to get in. Like, yeah. so I was just like, oh God. And then, so I'm, so I, I hate that I did this, but. Okay, so also like, hopefully this doesn't like get many, very many views because this is not what I said happened on my TikTok. I'm I'm a liar. So I messaged Tyga and I was like, Tyga, I'm with some guys, <laughs> like, but they're all from Gardena, and that's where Tyga grew up. So I was okay. like, maybe he'll be cool because yeah. you know. And then I was like, I'm with some dudes. Like, can they come too? And then he just left me on. He left me on red. Dude, that's the thing, like, it's crit, like, like, options is power, you know what I mean? Like, he no. probably has 10 other, dude, no. he probably has 200 other people in his DMs. But not, you know no, I mean? but I don't think so, because this was during, and like, okay, no one is in Tulum, Tulum is tiny. 
Well, okay, he probably came with a good amount of like mm. women. You know what I mean? And he's like, then why would he respond to me? I feel dude, like it, it's uh, it's why girls respond to guys all the time and have no intentions of hanging out with them. It's just like a power play. It's just like, yo, fuck it, like I can do this. It's like I said, like options is power. Like you know what I mean? He yeah. he saw you with dudes and was like, yo, like okay, yeah, well, I, absolutely, I knew. Like he he's you know what I mean? Like he's, I knew it was uh, over the second I said, can I bring guys? I knew I knew that, but. I still took the risk. Did he like send you like his address and shit? No, he never did. Oh, uh, okay. So he was he was kind of like waiting for. He was waiting for me to be like, okay, I'm with twelve beautiful models. We are ready to come. Okay. That was not the case. Dude, how does that work? Like, when there's like a like, cause okay, he probably has thousands of DMs that are unread, like tens of thousands. Like, how did how did your name come up? Like, how does that even fucking work? Like, is it like an account manager that's just like sitting so on? that could be it? Someone commented that on my TikTok, which I'll get into, and that's a great bridge because someone commented that on my TikTok. They're like, you know, it probably wasn't Tyga. Like, it was probably one of his managers, and then. But I was also thinking, like, I get thousands and thousands of comments on my TikToks, and I swear to God, there is not one I have not read. Like, you get thousands and thousands. Yes, of I read every single one. How many followers do you have? I like forty-two k. You have forty-two thousand TikTok followers. Yeah, it's like not what the fuck? No, literally, bro. Who are you? Stella Ray. <laughs> Don't wear it out. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Back it up a little bit. So you're telling me you have 42,000 followers on TikTok. Yes. Why? Like, who are you? Okay, so let me get more into it. <laughs> oh, um, I think I need some more of this first. <laughs> <laughs> we, oh my God, I'm dead, okay. <laughs> so that that's like the beginning of the talk story, the TikTok story. So dude, you like you like act like a famous person. I'm well, I mean, I guess you are famous, dude. I'm not that famous. I'm saying? not that famous at all. I'm really dude, not. you you are waiting to be famous. Oh my god! Like you're gonna be famous and you're gonna totally be in LA, like walking down the street with Ugh. like a bag. Love with the bag. You know, with the bag. <laughs> I hope I, I have a bag. Okay. You, you brought a bag, right? I did bring a little bag. I mean, it's fake Gucci, but hopefully by then it'll be real. How much is a real Gucci bag? I don't know. I have all oh my shit's fake, bro. Fake nails, <laughs> fake gems, fake eyelashes. One's damn near about to fall off. When you go to bed every night, are you just like, fuck, I'm fucking wearing all this fake shit. Like, I'm gonna make it big one day. Or are <laughs> no! You like, are, I don't you like, are you like, hey, like, rise and shine, baby. Like, let's go hard tomorrow. Rise and shine. I, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like a combo. <laughs> I don't know what I think before I go to bed. Usually okay. I'm just like, I'm tired. Uh, do, do you ever fall asleep like contemplating something? Or you're no, just, I okay. always- You just knock the fuck out. No, 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 no. I always think of situations. I make up situations in my head. Okay. Like, either I'm hurting someone. Wait, Wait what? <laughs> like, okay, this is so bad. But like, there's like a, a handful of people in my life that I really don't like. Why? We'll get into it. But. Okay. We'll wrap up. We we'll keep going. Okay. On the okay. TikTok. Okay. I'm, okay. So, I'm the no. bad person. Yeah, you're the bad guy here. Okay. So wait, what was he saying? Okay. Anyway, so I put. Okay. So I basically just summarized what the story I just said right now, and I I put it on TikTok, and I remember telling my my roommates I was like, God, we were about to go out, we were about to go drink, and I was like, guys, I think this is gonna blow up, and they were like, okay, Stella, okay, Stella, and then like I had like a hundred views. I'm like, what the fuck, and then. We go to a party and it was like 1,000. And I scroll up 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. I was like, oh my God. I was like, guys, look, I'm blowing up. And then I was like, oh my God. And then like went to bed the next day, woke up. It was like 20K. And then it just kept growing and growing and growing. What video was the, this? The Tyga summary. Oh. Just summarizing what happened with Tyga. I got, I had like 4,000 followers. I had like three before. Then I had 4,000. Okay, okay. So then I had this like burden on my back because my whole Tiger Story thing was I said, like for part two. And I made it sound like I was about to meet Tyga. And everyone's like, oh my God, like what happened? Like you met Tyga? Where's the footage? And I was, and it was all like, like for part two. So I was like, okay, well, there is no part two because I never went, but I'm going to lead them on. So I was like, I was like talking to my mom. I was like, mom, what do I do? Like, I need to keep my following. Your mom's in the TikTok loop? No, but like, she just knows everything. Oh, uh, okay. Does she understand? I make her understand. Okay. So I was like, okay, I got to do something funny. 
So I've been seeing these things on TikTok of like people with this thing called carpool karaoke and it's a microphone. And basically the microphone hooks up to your Bluetooth and your phone's FM station and you can basically talk on the microphone and it broadcasts through your car like music would. Okay. So it gets pretty loud. So I, I've been seeing lots of TikToks of people using it and yelling at people with it, like rolling down the window, yelling at people passing by. And I thought that was so funny. So I was like, I gotta buy this tic or I gotta buy this microphone for TikTok. So it was 50 bucks, bought it on Amazon. It came and I was like, okay, well, this is a trend right now. How about I get in the car and take the microphone and go yell at strangers, right? <laughs> so I got, a, I got a group of like six and I was like, okay, I need two people filming me and one people rolling the window down, one person and then like, I'll yell at people. So I got this whole squad. In your car? In my car. I got, I got an SUV. That's why I said SUV, not truck. Oh, okay, for sure. I, I got all these people in the car and we basically just drove around slow and I just like rolled down my window and was like yelling at people, like rate me on a scale of one to 10 or like scoot back, you're not six feet. And just like all this funny stuff. And I recorded it and I put it in TikTok and then that one blew up even more than Tyga. Like, like, 10 times as many views, like so many likes. Thousands. Oh, millions of views. Millions of Millions views? of views. Wait, what the No, 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 fuck? it's at 3.5 mil right now. Like, Shut it, the fuck No, it, it grows like dude. all the time. What are you doing right now? That's crazy no. shit. Oh bro. my God. Wait, hold on. I think I'm, I need to press this eyelash back on. This is not, can you tell? Yes, you, you can. You look normal. I need something sticky. <laughs> Anyways, so um, so yeah, so I made that that thing, and then that gave me lots more followers, and then then my Tiger thing started going up. Now my Tiger videos at like 1.5 mil. That one's up to 3.5 mil, and then I just ma kept making all these videos of me yelling at people from the car. And now, like, when I go downtown or if I go to stuff around slow, everyone's like, I know you, like, I've seen you from TikTok. I've seen you from no TikTok. No Oh, no, all the time. Are you serious? Oh, all the time. Because I'm on the slow TikTok for you page. So anyone who follows slow stuff always gets my stuff. And then, this is the real tea. I won't name names because I don't want to get anybody in trouble. But <laughs> basically in the one that blew up, like the 3.5 mil one, the first like me yelling at someone something was like this guy and he was like on the street and I know him from somewhere else and I was just driving by and I rolled my window down and I was like rate me on a scale of 1 to 10 and he said 11 and and he was like super cute and then we drove off whatever and everyone in the comments was like like the top comment had like 20,000 likes and it was like who was that guy he's so hot like at the guy who said 11 and, she, and they were like you better go back and get him like he was so hot he was so into you and i was like i know him he has a girl and everyone was like he has a girlfriend what the heck like so many people were hating on him they're like he's so fake like for saying that yeah i feel like you can i don't i personally don't think it's that big of a deal like i think it's kind of funny like dude if you have a girlfriend a wife or anything i feel like you can say hey this person's attractive hey you're good looking yeah. and, and also like it was a quick thing. It wasn't like it wasn't like a well like thought a, out. Yeah, yeah. Like it was just like a funny, fun thing. But everyone's going and attacking this guy, and I get it. Like there's millions of people on the internet seeing this guy, and people are literally like saying, "Give me his number." Oh my god, he's hot. Oh my god, I hate him. He's a cheater. And I know him. And he goes to school with me, and then he DM'd me on Instagram. And he How said, the fuck did he find you? Because we know each other. Oh, uh, okay, my bad. Like, I mean, we just know each other from around. Like, it's nothing serious. Like, I've, yeah, I've just, yeah. he went abroad with me, I think. Okay. And, um, yeah, he was just like, he DM'd me and he was like, please take this down. Shut up. And I was like, no. <laughs> I just didn't reply. I was no, like, <laughs> okay. What? Yeah, I was like, sorry. <laughs> sorry, you're a cheater. <laughs> He said, please take this down. Yeah. So he was scared that his girlfriend was going to be like, dude. Oh, I'm sure she already saw it. that girl in 11? What the fuck? Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm sure a million people sent it to him and were like, dude, that's you. But yeah, that was pretty funny. Huh. It, I mean, yeah. I mean, I like, that's kind of savage. You did not take it down. Well, he, I mean, he has every right to not like, I You're saying that's him. your content, that's your video, like you did the deed. But no, you have to ask people for their permission to post pictures of them online. Oh, you have to? Yeah. 
Oh. I'm pretty sure it's like their federal right. Hey, uh, oh. <laughs> but he didn't pull out any legal cards, so for now, it's staying up. Huh. He probably got the backlash from his girlfriend and then like- I'm sure. It's like, ah, it's, it's whatever. Yeah. He's kind of just like, oh, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> he might, I, don't, I don't think he's gonna watch this, but- Yeah, don't say anything, don't say anything. I hate him. The thing no. is though, with TikTok comes a lot of hate because most people on that app are like 12 to 15. Okay, like I would say like 15, 13 to, to 19 is like the main age group and they just, they're in high school and there's COVID and they hate their lives. So a lot of people like hate on my stuff. Like the first, like the first hate was coming from the Tyga thing and they were like, you didn't post part two, it's been two weeks, where's part two, where's part two? Like, you're a liar, you never met Tyga, you had to send an NDA agreement, like, like non-disclosure non agreement. Which mm -hmm. means you can't post videos or pictures if you meet a famous celebrity online. They were oh. like, you would have had to sign an NDA, like there's no way you actually saw Tyga. I'm just like sitting there deleting the comments. <laughs> like, I don't, and then finally I was pressured enough by these 12 year olds to post a part two. So I posted a part two and I was like, I never saw Tyga, I'm a cap. And then, but I like put a little twist on it and I try to like make it funny. 